Well, the 2017 economy gave a lot of love. Many companies turned in solid profits. More people were working and getting pay raises and high consumer confidence led to more household spending. So what's next? Pat Ricketts joins us now to look back at the year and discuss steps for 2018. Absolutely. Pat, good morning. Good Thanks morning. for joining us this morning. My pleasure. First, let's uh, talk about some bright spots in 2017. Yeah, if we look back on 2017, the bright spots were wage growth. So wage growth increased in 2017, actually the most since March of 2009. Wow. Two, we had strong uh, business confidence. Uh, an increase in demands in goods and services leads to optimism in CEOs. That optimism can lead to a reinvestment in their own company through infrastructure, technology, labor force, mergers and acquisitions. And then a strong leading uh, uh, economic indicator in 2017 was GDP. We had growth in growth domestic product uh, over two consecutive quarters. Now you just mentioned GDP. Tell us what that means and why that matters. Yeah, gross domestic product is the value of all goods and services purchased in the United States. To put things in perspective, in 2016 GDP was 18.57 trillion. So uh, it matters because a growth indicates more goods and services were purchased than the quarter or the year before. Awesome. Now, while things looked good last year, what are a few things that people can watch for and maybe help our viewers maintain some of their financial goals? Yeah, going into 2018, obviously we've had a strong year in the market so far, but you want to rebalance your investment portfolio with nine years of U.S. market growth. Maybe your portfolio has been uh, misaligned due to uh, the, the growth within the U.S. market. So you want to realign that to your goals. Uh, two, when you want to stay focused, we want to avoid the clutter. Um, and uh, really um, focus on the economic indicators that are going to impact your goals. And speaking of goals, now is a great time to revisit your goals before the emotions kick in of a high market or a low market because that can really cloud your thinking moving forward. Absolutely, Pat. Thank you so much for those tips. Yeah, my pleasure. And as always, if you missed any of this or want to share this information, we'll post it online later today at ktv.com and in our mobile app. Now let's